and breezy. I woke up Chris Breezy. You ever hear of Chris Brown? Of course you had got to hear of goddamn Chris Brown. Who hasn't heard of Chris Brown? Who hasn't heard that he's just a giant fucking pile of fecal matter and doesn't, you know, deserve all the stuff that he has given how garbage of a person that he is. And his, his lyrics are awful. More, like, I'm not sure... He sets the bar really low in terms of how awful somebody can get, yet, like, his lyrics tend to just... Those are even worse. Like, you should get an award for that. God damn. So, uh... Why are we talking about this Garbo? Um, he came out with a new song, and I want views, so let's see what it's about. Uh, his song is called Weakest Link. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Came out on 420 a couple days ago, as of recording this. So on Genius, it says, Weakest Link sees Chris Brown directly targeting Quavo, a member of the rap group Migos, in what appears to be his response to Quavo's track, Tender. Play a little excerpt of that, I never heard of that. I don't know any of this shit. God damn. First off, screw all these people. These are all garbage people. They've just, you know, in the public eye and they're making lots of money and lots of people like them because of the thing that they do, right? Such as making garbage music. <laughs> oh, man. Although I've heard of these guys' names, I'm not really familiar with their their music. But even if I were, I don't care, man. Who you are as a person should be seen as more important. But given how famous and successful someone like Chris Brown is, clearly it doesn't matter. <laughs> the lyrics are aggressively confrontational, packed with accusation and insults aimed at undermining Quavo's credibility and character. Chris, is, Chris questions Quavo, Quavo's toughness and authenticity, mocks his music and personal issues, and even addresses sensitive issues, including the 2021 elever, elevator altercation between Quavo and his ex-girlfriend, Saweetie. It's a lot of altercations taking place in elevators. God damn. See Rick James, diamond white looking like cocaine. Just a bunch of wealthy art, <laughs> wealthy uh, music artists. One of the striking features of this track is its release date, April 20th, 420, a date colleague coll colloquially associated with marijuana culture. Chris plays on this theme, suggests that he's metaphorically smoking Quavo like a pack of marijuana. Wow. Art. Uh, which in hip-hop vernacular can imply dominating or overshadowing someone. The refrain, who wants smoke with me, reinforces this theme, adding a layer of taunt given the date's association with smoking. Overshadowing? I don't get it. You think, like, that's gonna really just be based on how much money and relevancy somebody can uh, acquire in a certain time and place and both these guys are very well known probably for however long it's been since they've been put into the public eye all right let's get into these goddamn lyrics intro goldie quavo now we can settle this like you got some class or we can get into some gangster shit hey chris i don't want no issues bruh i don't want no smoke i don't want to fight you i don't want to do nothing bruh like please bruh wow Already, we can tell that these people have very extensive vocabularies. Bruh. Bruh. Wow. You guys make something that requires you to write words on a paper and people listen to your words, yet, like, you don't really have many words or you, you don't even know that many words. <laughs> Chorus. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants mm? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants... Bruh, 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 yeah, yeah. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Let's just, just keep that in mind as we move down these, these fucking lyrics, Jesus. Verse number one. Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripped in red. Okay. Don't let this R&B shit fool you. Niggas get ripped to shreds. Get back. Quavo we're talking like he a thug. Nigga, you a bitch with dreads. You bitch. <sighs> Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. You on? Wow. How old? Are you 13 years old? Wow. What's all that boss shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You ain't no huncho. You the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. Jesus. You having trouble rhyming? Got to keep using that word so that you can keep... Jesus. These people are at the top of their industry. And this is, is their, are, are their lyrics. All right. 
You fucked my ex hoe. That's cool. I don't give a fuck. I don't give no fuck. Little nigga. Still a bitch. Because I fucked your ex when you were still with her bitch. I'm up, little nigga. You rhymed nigga four times so far. In that entire small excerpt, you use that one word to rhyme multiple times. And these people are considered talented. He's a, he's a good singer. He's a good uh, dancer. He's also a good domestic abuser. <laughs> Who wants smoke with me? <laughs> Fuck Chris Brown, God. This guy's, this guy's garbage. But as a reflection of the culture, he's very well known and lots of people like him because it's a garbage culture. If the people that are idolized within a culture are garbage, what does that say about the people that idolize them? Also garbage? Hmm. Am I losing light? Hopefully not. Because I fucked your ex when you were still with her, bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Okay. They say revenge is sweet. Revenge is sweet, yeah. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I must sing about that shit. Crack, crack, crack. I got some tea up out that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Fa, fa, brr. Oh, mental illness. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking time. I'm a ticking bomb on the detonator. Yeah, yeah. I shit on niggas. I'm a de facto defecator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put Amigo on a ventilator. Yeah, br what? <laughs> Stop talking about beating girls. He was beating bitches on the elevator. Yeah, you probably just shouldn't even. What you did to Rihanna. Come on. You... Come on. <laughs> These are all garbage people. Yeah. We've seen the tapes that devastating. Brr, bow, bow. You do a bad, you a bitch, you music trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fashion week, they sat me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. What? All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. Word. Wow, you're so tough, Chris. You're such a bad boy. God, what what type of crazy shit goes on in this dumbass piece of garbage head, like brain? Like, oh my God, it must be like, dude. <laughs> the the stuff that this guy probably tells himself, the stuff that other people tell him, the way that he's made to feel in the world, that's just, oh God, it's totally tragic. You lucky I ain't want to fuck the money up, boy? I would have broke you in half. Br bow. Jesus. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Ugh. Are you tough to beat up your girlfriend? How many like assault allegations? Chris Brown assault allegations. You have a lot, don't you? How many random people? So there's Rihanna. There's a, a woman in Vegas who he beat her and stole her cell phone during a, a, a party. This is a complete history. Suspicion of assault, alleged punch photographer, stay away from ex-girlfriend, unknown identified woman for alleged assault 2018, detained, detained, attacking people, striking women, oh my god, claimed to see and drug someone, oh my god, this guy, like, dude, like, sewage, actual sewage. Just hear this, knowing that this person has what they have and the people that support them. It's like, don't support people like this. Don't listen to their fucking music, dude. These people are garbage. <laughs> like, I, that was a whole ass list. My God. And of course, like, you're not going to receive any comeuppance. You're too rich and famous. Nobody gives a shit. I'm trying to be tough, you know, I'm showing off. Ugh. Quit talking about drugs. The only pack that I've been smoking on. Whoa. I just hit my plug, told him, come back. I'm going to need more than one. Come on. Your last album was a weed tray, just some bullshit that roll up on. Bra, bow, bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. And this is why they're rich and famous, because of stupid shit like this. You know what's on? Put you to bed, night, night. That suit of fed? Yeah. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. Boy, rip takeoff. You're the only real one that got true respect. Oh, you're trying to show some class now? Yeah, sure. Why don't you just go in, you fucking loser? Crazy how when he died, everyone really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit, brah. <laughs> you tripping, Chris? Don't say that. Don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned the big bad wolf on. These fuck niggas never knew revenge. Woo. This 
you, this is what happens when you fuck nigga, push a real nigga out the edge. God. Yes, you use that word, the more, the, the less you're capable of an artist. You got to use the same repeat words over and over again. <laughs> this guy makes, this guy got most of his fortune from making music. And this is his music. This is what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and get, and it get to his head. I don't like, do I have to censor that for YouTube? Ah. <sighs> You can kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you for my middle finger. I'll tattoo my trigger finger. Yeah. Bring real beef to your dinner table. Bra bow. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit goes sting, nigga. Gra. At least you're honest about that. You're a fucking nutcase. A violent, like, teenager nutcase. Who has no self awareness and just, is just a garbage person. I'll run your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got bodied by a singing, nigga, bitch. Control F, nigga, 15 times. That's how many times he used that in this song. And the chorus, of course, who wants to smoke with me, who wants to smoke with me, who wants to smoke with me, who wants to smoke with C, who wants to smoke, who wants to smoke, who wants to smoke with me, 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 who Oh no, not the investors, not the money that he's making for them. Shit, I'm so sorry about you guys. Maybe you should like... Clearly the controversies don't mean shit. It has no effect on your career. You can just like commit as many crimes as you want because there's no, there's no comeuppance for you for Richard Famous. That's not how the world works. So, I don't know. Hopefully he gets hit by a car or something or somebody robs him and he gets shot or something. Like, less people in the world like this would make the world a better place. Especially people in positions like this, so. Yeah, fuck Chris Brown. Fuck this person.